So now that we've got this pathway, we just need the cross section. And you can see here that they very helpfully traced out with the cross section of this, this uh, column and arch looked like. And we're going to trace right over it. So we're going to start about here, come straight down, escape, because I don't need that line. I'm going to use the curve tool to make this curve. I have to zoom in pretty far to get the resolution I need. Sort of like that. And then it looks like this is a straight line. You can see here I'm sticking to the axes, even if they don't quite line up to the image. Escape. And then here there's another curve, and then it looks like a little bead. And finally another straight piece. Like so. Maybe like that. A little half circle. Maybe another half circle. And to here. That may not be exactly how it was, but that'll do for our purposes. Now you've noticed I've only traced what's effectively a quarter of the cross section, right? That if we were to slice this column in half, there would be four of these. But this one quarter sort of covers all of it. Um, because flipped it would be this section, and these two flipped would be that section. Um, so we want to draw as little as possible and reuse it wherever we can. So now I've got my cross section and my path. I'm going to copy this and paste it. I'll just drop it down here somewhere. And I want to flip it so that it's uh, lying on the ground. So I'm going to use the rotate tool. And you can see I can't quite grab it in the red axis, which is where I need it to be grabbed. Oh, I had it for a second. There we go. So I'm going to hit it there and go down to the end point. And now I can bring it up. And I'm watching my angle. It's snapping to 90 degrees. So now this is flat on the ground, which is what I want. And now I'm going to grab the path that we created, and I'm going to copy and paste that. Um, when you paste, SketchUp is a little bit arbitrary about what part of it you're holding. So I'm going to set it down, and then I'm going to pick it up again by this end point because I want to drop that endpoint right onto my cross section, right there. So now you can see I've got my path and I've got my cross section. My path is highlighted, so if I click the Follow Me tool and punch the cross section, boom. There it goes. And suddenly we have an arch, or at least a section of an arch that looks pretty close to what's in the drawing. 